30 years ago, the fourth reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded. The catastrophe became one of the biggest in the history of the nuclear energy. A high amount of the radioactive elements was ejected to the atmosphere. According to the different sources, for the last decades between 60 and 80,000 people died. More than 100,000 people were evacuated. Now, Ukraine is building a new sarcophagus and a storage for the radioactive elements. According to modern standards, it's not safe uh, to uh, keep radioactive materials in all sarcophagus, according to mo modern regulation, according to modern standards. So that's why we need to find a new solution. New solution is to replace, put uh, all those remains of old sarcophagus, the remains of uh, unit number four, to uh, control that storage. Yeah? Because the uh, condition of fuel containing masses in uh, ruins of unit number four not controllable. Yeah? The process of the decontamination reduced the level of the radiation, although in certain places it is still high. Despite of this fact, today there are people that live in Chernobyl exclusion zone. Я забухала. Сюда я езжу по вахте 4-3. Мы с понедельника заезжаем, в четверг вот. Иногда в пятницу едем домой. Нет, зона забрудненная, но она же не сплошная забрудненная. То есть пятнами, где больше, где меньше. А, так что, ну жить постоянно тут, конечно, нет тех условий, которые за зоной. Тут нет ни лекарни, ничего. Место сейчас есть, она может только сказать первую помощь, еще все равно отправляют за зону. А потом, если люди живут, так сказать, без контроля, то они могут садить там что-то, дичину добывать, грибы, ягоды и так далее. А это грязные продукты, их употреблять нельзя. Мы питаемся в столовой, поэтому питание чистое. Все вирощаем, все ем, все вирощаем, фрукту. И клубнику, и все, все свое. Вода в нас чистейшая. До нас даже с Киева приезжают заводы. Чернобыль не был единственным городом, который был эффективен от катастрофы. Нуклеарный фоллаут влияет на весь континент, особенно на местные страны. In Belarus, a part of country was contaminated, and uh, people uh, on these uh, places was uh, restricted. And in other parts of uh, of Belarus, for example, in Minsk, I lived in Minsk district uh, when was very many people from uh, uh, from Chernobyl villages. How we said about it, and uh, for example, in my school, uh, very many teachers was from uh, village schools. And uh, very many of my classmates was from uh, Chernobyl villages, and uh, it was uh, how uh, village school in the capital. Nobody know what is radiation is, and uh, what should we do, and uh, nobody said us what we should do. Uh, uh, government uh, doesn't uh, make made anything uh, to. to to inform us, to, uh, to, to help us. Yeah, Ch Chernobyl was the most important topic of, uh, of this year. Uh, it was an accident uh, which influenced our life in Germany too. We have contaminations in our woods. We got uh, every day new uh, <coughs> radiation uh, results, uh, being careful, the child has to leave. The, uh, the playgrounds and so on and it was uh, 
Yeah, an ex it was an accident uh, which the German anti-nuclear power movement uh, know that that could happen not only uh, in Ukraine or the Soviet Union, even in, uh, in the German or West European atomic power plants. Decades after the tragedy, we can see the consequences of the explosion and how they influence the society. The examples of Belarus and Germany show the opposite energy policies. After Fukushima, the second, uh, the second uh, very big um, accident, some years ago at Japan, uh, Germany says no more atomic power plants, no new ones, and uh, the old, the running ones uh, should stop uh, in the next years, and we change completely to uh, to other kind of producing energy. Now Belarus built a power station, nuclear station uh, near the Lithuanian border. I think that we don't must do that because uh, we have a Chernobyl history and we know that nuclear station is very dangerous. And uh, I don't know for what we do that because I don't think that we have any profits in for our economic. Uh, we can buy electricity in other countries and uh, our government said that uh, that will help. That, that nuclear station uh, will help for uh, our economy, but I don't think so. Apocalypse. That is that is the end of all. That is uh, that is the end of uh, that is in this area the end of uh, of mankind and what it comes uh, for the next thousand years. This will be uh, never the same than it had been before, and uh, it was heavy. Also, this is a very very big impression to see uh, that there are something uh, which uh, we shouldn't uh, use uh, because we can't get it under control. Chernobyl shows limits of our technolo uh, technologies.